When we used to talk or hear about 3D printers, it was like a completely new world. I like 3D printing when it comes to functionality. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the beautiful city of Shenzhen as usual. And as you may know, Shenzhen is well known for being a tech hub. A lot of technology companies were born and are based here producing very cool tech gadgets. And today we're going to explore a company that is making some of the greatest 3D printers in the market nowadays. I'm talking about Elegoo. And let's wait no more. Let's go inside and explore their products. Come with me. Nowadays, we can see the diverse applications of the 3D printing in industries like aerospace, healthcare, and automotive. However, consumer 3D printing has gained popularity for a variety of uses, allowing individuals to create personalized and custom items in the comfort of their homes. So Alego is the company who specializes in the designing and manufacturing of 3D printers. In 2018, we started building 3D printers. So we have the resin printers, we have the FDM printers, and now we also have the laser engravers. And currently, I think we are providing a very wide range of products for our customers. So you can see all the models here. We have the FDM printers, the uh, Mars series, and also the Saturn series, and also the Jupiter series. They are targeting at different customer segments. Let, let me give you an example. When customers they are creating uh, very dedicated models like mm -hmm. this, with, that has a uh, lot of details, so I think they are perfect with the Mars series. behind the names is because from the first day we are uh, thinking about you know building 3D printers we want to create like a universe giving customers a very wide range of products because you know the different planet has a different size we use the smaller planet to give customers a hint that this model has a smaller build volume and the Saturn is bigger the chip is even larger so you have different build volume a few years ago when we used to talk or hear about 3D printers it was like a completely new world huge bulky machines that you can place in big spaces or factories now we have these super compact machines that you can just place it in your living room and start making different kind of models using different kind of techniques and technologies and these are all designed made and produced by this company Elegu I'm just speechless seeing the huge variety of products 3D printing continues to be widely used for rapid prototyping and the production of customized products. This is particularly prominent in industries like fashion, consumer goods, and healthcare. It enables quick and cost-effective iteration of designs. Also, 3D printing enables makers and DIY enthusiasts to prototype and create their own projects. This can include anything from custom enclosures for electronic devices to artistic sculptures. Consumers can 3D print decorative items for their homes, such as vases, lampshades, wall art, and other unique designs. This allows for a high level of customization and personalization in home decor. What is the main difference between the two types of printers you make? So resin printers generally have a much higher resolution compared with the FDM printers, especially the latest model we have here is the Mars 4 Ultra and the 73 Ultra. So the Mars, 3, uh, Mars 4 Ultra has a 9K resolution, which is a very high resolution compared with the FDM printers. So if customers want to print some of the models, which has a very smooth surface, mm -hmm. so they can choose the resin printers. In general, the resin printers doesn't have a large uh, build volume as the, uh, as the FDM printers. So oh. if the customers want to have something uh, bigger build volume, they can choose the FDM printers. So these models are actually the same model. We printed this one 
and we uh, pan this model. So as you can see here, all the models here, all the surface layers that don't have these lines. And if we have here, uh, we have the FDM printers, uh, FDM printed models. Uh, you look at the, the, the layer lines, it's oh, very obvious. You can notice all right. the layer lines on the model surface. Price ranges are quite accessible mm -hmm. for the consumer market. Yeah, yeah. Around how much will cost me one of these printers? For Saturn 3 Ultra, it's about 500 US dollars. And also for the uh, Mars series, it's about 300 also. And for the Neptune series, it's about from 200 dollars to 500 dollars. The cost of 3D printing can vary widely depending on several factors, including the type of 3D printer, the materials used, the complexity and size of the printed object, and the desired level of quality. Christmas is about to come, right? So you can also print, 3D print some of the uh, decorations. If you don't know how to 3D modeling, they are open market. You can find the free models out there. If you don't find the models you like, you can also pay for the designers to 3D design the models oh, you want. Right, there are some works. platforms you can hire the designers. Right. But I think this kind of design will be more uh, reachable in the future. Like yes. you'll be able just to input maybe using artificial intelligence, yeah, make yeah, the design the of yeah. uh, a spoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, they yeah. design it because you run out of spoon at home and then you just yeah, but print Make one. sure you use the, the food grade material. That way you can, you're using the spoon directly. I am really impressed of seeing some of the models you're able to print in yeah, yeah. with these machines here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are all resin models. So you, you, you can take some of this, you can check out the, the details. If you look at the back, so they're all the same color, right? This yeah. is the original resin we use. Oh, yeah, we see. use this original resin, we print all the parts, then we paint them and assemble them together. How long does it take to print this one, for example, the whole, the whole thing? It really depends on how you print it. If you print the whole model, like a one complete model, without separating them into different parts, uh -huh. then it will be probably take you at least 12 hours. 12 hours? Yes. But if you, for example, we can print the head separately, we can print the arms separately, oh. they are like different parts on the same build plate. So that way we will reduce the printing time probably by 50%. We okay. came to the assembly line when some of the magic uh -huh. is happening. What, what are they doing right now over here? So right now they are assembling the Mars 4 Max. Uh -huh. The model we have from last year, they are assembling all the parts together. We will test each union and we will assemble them according to our design. So you can see here they have the different position for their job. I can see here the production line has like two separate areas somehow. Mm -hmm. One is open, one is like kind of covered. What is the difference? Yeah, yeah. What so this room we have, we call it like a fast free room. Uh -huh. So in this process, you can see they are assembling the LCD screen. So we need to make sure that the, the LCD panel is clean without dust. So, uh, let me show you around. Okay, we can enter that. So this is a very specialized process where you cannot have any, not even a little piece of dust or yeah. dirt. Uh, because we need to peel off the, the protection film. Yeah. As you can see there, this is still have a blue uh, film. Uh -huh. We need to peel them off. Then we will assemble the LCD panel. basically the final part and we see how every single printer is being tested before being shipped. That impresses me because actually they printed first two different figures. One is just a regular cylinder, very basic figure, and the other one is like an Eiffel Tower which definitely has a lot, a lot of details. If one little tiny bar is missing, that means the machine might have one problem, so it needs to be retested and fixed before being shipped.
produces several models mm -hmm. uh, within the same complex. We came to another assembly line. What are they making in this part of the factory? This country, they are building the Napkin 4 Max, mm -hmm. the largest model we have for the Napkin series. As you can see here, they are adjusting the X, uh, axis. So uh -huh. they have to make sure that the X axis is very uh, stable okay. and it's very correctly assembled together. So Must be balanced. Building, as yeah, well, very right. balanced. During the printing process, it is very crucial to have a balanced structure mm. so that each layer can print very perfectly. We're seeing right now some of the tests, one of the final tests for these printers, and you can see how they are building some of the models that these can do. Of course, this is a very basic shape, but possibilities are infinite when it comes to 3D printing. You can do any kind of shape, figure that your imagination can create. And this is mind blowing. You can mix figures, lines, materials, and colors. As you can see behind me, there are some other uh, shapes made in different kind of colors. How long does it take this testing process for each machine? Uh, generally, this is about like a two hours test. So this is like a, a, a cube model. Mm -hmm. We will test each printer with the same model and see whether they are shift layers, whether they are uh, like... Uh, Imperfections uh, or yes. some, some details. Yes. Of course, 3D printing is great for creativity and make a lot of different kind of figures, but I like 3D printing when it comes to functionality. Here we have some of the examples that in this factory they're actually using to create these kind of containers for different small parts for maybe office supplies like this one. These kind of little containers are designed and printed here. Also with more level of detail, like this pencil or pens container. You can see these kind of flowers, designs, letters, and also this lamp that I like a lot. So this lamp or this cover was actually printed in this place. And you can see it can be made in different forms, shapes, colors. I have here, it's more like a plant pot where you can put different kind of things, even with a little dock. So decoration, design, interior design. Oops. Interior design is also one of the applications that you can use these kind of printers to create personalized models and objects like this one here. I think it's really cool. The future of 3D printing holds exciting possibilities. The integration of 3D printing with other emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence and Internet of Things could lead to more automated and integrated manufacturing processes. Also, 3D printing could become more integrated into education, fostering creativity and innovation among students. Additionally, increased accessibility and user-friendly interfaces may make 3D printing more widely adopted by individuals and small businesses. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.